I've loved animals ever. <laughs> Photo bomber. I've. <laughs> oh my gosh, TJ, stay out of here. I've loved animals ever since I was a little girl. I wanted. <laughs> You're gonna have to avoid him, Mr. TJ. Hold on. Okay, guys, just wait till you see the top of our cars. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Jen. And I'm Chris. And we live here at the Sunshine Farm. We are a plant bat bleh. We are a plant bass. Plant based modern homestead in upstate New York. Thanks for joining us. We're so glad you stopped by. Good girl. Here you go. Here you go. Well, Chris taught her this trick. There you go. Girl. How cute is that? Wholesome Roots started the challenge, asking people to share the five reasons why they homestead. We were tagged by two different channels. The first was from zero to homestead, when we were first getting started off on this YouTube adventure, and we're so appreciative of that tag. The second was from our sweet friends over at Forgotten Way Farms, Abby Jo and her husband Daniel, and their amazing family of nine over in Idaho. Um, they have been such a joy to get to know and definitely check out their channel if you haven't already. They're an amazing family. So today we're going to share with you the five reasons why we homestead um, on our little plant-based hobby farm. And you're going to see all about upstate New York weather because it is a whiteout outside. <laughs> the first reason, reason number one, is we love good, healthy, natural food. And homesteading is really the best way to make that happen. While we could easily go to the grocery store, we have one about a half mile from our house and we could pick up a bag of potatoes and onions and all the things we need to make plant-based food. It just doesn't have the flavor um, as what you would grow in your own backyard. I did not think of myself as a potato person. I never really ate potatoes or particularly enjoyed them until this year when we grew our own potatoes. And it was like a whole new world opened for us. Especially since we don't eat meat, potatoes are such a great way to fill up um, in a meal. And the flavor of homegrown potatoes will just blow your mind yeah. compared to anything you've ever had. They definitely add an extra heartiness to any meal. So it just taught us that the best quality food that you're gonna have for your family with the most flavor and the most nutrition is going to be grown in your own backyard. And that's a really important reason to us and that's why we put it here as reason number one. What did you just say? It's no time like the present is what I always say. Reason number two, a love for adventure. by loving adventure. We live on a farm, so we obviously don't travel the world very often because we're so busy here, but there are always fun things to do. If we lived in the city during the snowstorm, there's no way we'd be getting outside and jumping into full-on activity even with so much snow falling from the sky. This homesteading life helps us embrace the adventure that is all around us, but that is so easy to ignore if we're just sitting at home in front of the TV. Hi, goats! It may not 
seem like this lifestyle is very adventurous, but adding chickens, horses, a huge garden, and goats all in one year is pretty adventurous, and it comes with a whole lot of learning and responsibility and constant action. Okay, I'm gonna move. The third reason why we homestead is wanting to be more active. And we found when we lived in the city that our life was boring. We were sitting on the couch a lot of times. We couldn't find hobbies to do that would keep us entertained. And it was just so easy to come home and sit even after we've been sitting for eight hours and sitting in the car. And it was just a life of very sedentary living. So this homesteading lifestyle helps us get off our butt, get outside, take care of our responsibilities and be more active. It makes us stronger. Gardening really gave me a lot of upper body strength that I just didn't expect. So there are so many responsibilities that might at times be frustrating, but they really are the reason why we wanted this lifestyle in the first place. They teach us how to be active because of obligation, but also because it's so much fun and it gives you so many great feelings when you are off of your butt. <laughs> Oh, you guys look so cool. It's Number TJ. four, why we homestead is a love for animals and the outdoors. <laughs> I've been an animal lover my whole life, and how could you not love this little fuzzy guy? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I used to have dreams about having a horse one day and so really that's why we moved here in the first place is to have some animals and farm animals and especially have a horse. As you can see here we ended up with two horses. So a love for animals and just connecting with them and really finding a lot of joy and happiness through relationship with them has been such a blessing in my life and it's, it's such a reason why we love this lifestyle. Guys, we are back inside for reason number five because survived. yeah we did survive we survived reasons one through four in the snowstorm of the year so I'm glad that you guys got to see a little bit of what it was like though because so far this year you guys have seen a lot of grass <laughs> it's true and in reality there are many 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 winters where we do not see the grass until May yeah <laughs> or April yeah so reason number five is going to be all Chris. I'll let him take it away. <laughs> all right. So the fifth reason that we homestead is to be more connected to the things that we do and use on a daily basis. So that can come in a multitude of ways that comes with our waste, the things that we eat and typically would have thrown out in the past. We've come to realize what the impact that has on the environment. Now we try to waste as little as possible. So whenever we can put food scraps into our compost pile, you know, we have a handy kitchen counter countertop compost bin right here. <laughs> what did you say? So we have a kitchen <laughs> We have a kitchen countertop compost bin, and that allows us to take all of our food scraps that are compostable as we're making meals and just throw them in there so that we can throw them in our full-size compost pile outside. Um, Which possibly is frozen right now. Yeah, I don't know how successful our compost is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be super broken down for this upcoming spring and when we plant the garden. We sure hope so, but I don't know if it's going to be. It's year one. We have a lot yeah, of it. We started it. We started it kind of late in the summer too. So if we you know if we'd been going earlier, it would have been better. You're not junior. Where's the camera hog? Are you our new camera hog? The camera hog is there. Just look up in the corner behind your head. Oh. <laughs> is he in it? Well, like he just stuck his head out, but he was in it. He's reaching his head out further. So those are our five reasons. We would love to hear your reasons in the comments below. I'm pretty sure that everybody on here has exhausted this challenge. So I'm not gonna tag anyone else. If you wanna participate, go ahead. If this is your first video with us, we're so glad you joined us and we're so glad you found us. And please check out some of our other videos that we posted in the last month and a half that we've been on YouTube. 
Um, we'll continue to post new content, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see when we post new videos. And also you can hit the alarm bell if you want to be notified. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you for being a part of our journey, and we can't wait to share our next video with you guys. Yes. So Camera hog needs to be featured in the video before it's over.